hello everyone and welcome back to my channel again students hope you are all doing well so we are discussing the model question paper of the mechanics of material subject for the mechanical engineering students right so its subject code is bme302 uh, so today in this video we will discuss question number 2b of the model question paper determine the change in length breadth and thickness of a steel bar which is 5 meter long and 40 mm wide and 30 mm thick okay what do i have to determine change in length okay and breadth and thickness so these changes we have to calculate where the length is given 5 meter long and 40 mm wide uh, width is 40 mm 30 mm thick okay and is subjected to an axial pull of 30 kN in the direction of its length right take e is equal to young's modulus is given 2 into 10 raised power 5 newton per millimeter square and poisson's ratio is also given 0 0.32 so what should be your approach uh, to deal with these type of problems first of all you should be aware of some formulas over there so uh, number one step is here you should write down the given data okay first of all what we have to calculate change in length that is delta l we have to calculate question mark uh, and change in breadth that is delta d you have to calculate okay and thickness so delta t or depth we can say delta d you have to calculate over here okay these are the things which you should calculate so now what is the given data which is a five meter long so length is given it is in meters so you should uh, convert it into the millimeter why just because width is in millimeter this also in millimeter okay so better to convert it into the millimeter so simply 5 into 1000 1 meter is equal to 1000 millimeter that is your 5000 millimeter will be your length right now and uh, width is given so i can write here b is equal to 40 mm okay this is the given 30 mm thickness so depth is equal to 30 mm okay and what is given there uh, axial pull of 35 kN that is force is given force or you can see that p f or p it is denoted by f or p it is given by 30 kN so better to convert it into the newton newtons over there i can write 30 into 10 raised power 3 newtons right then uh, last thing that is uh, sorry uh, e is equal to young's modulus it is so Young's modulus is also given, right? So sorry, this is your force. It is given by 35 kilonewton. So 35, 35 kilonewton into 10 is power 3. That will be your in newtons. And Poisson's ratio is also given. That is 0 0.32. Poisson's ratio is denoted by sigma or 1 upon m. Okay. So it is given by 0 0.32. This is all about the given data, right? So given data is this much. Now what you have to calculate? Change in length, change in breadth, and change in thickness. So what should be your approach you already know the change in length formula see here change in length is delta okay it is given by f l upon a e or in some books you will find p l upon a e okay now force is given length uh, we have to sorry length is also given area is not given so first of all let us uh, calculate the area of the steel bar i can write here area is equal to area of cross section is equal to uh, this b into d b into d will be your area for this okay area is equal to b into d which is equal to 40 into 30 okay so 4 threes are 12 so 1200 millimeter square is your area so now i can calculate the change in length over here that is delta l is so which is equal to this uh, force into l that is force is given 35 into 10 raised power 3 okay multiplied by length what is the length 5000 millimeter okay divided by area we have calculated here that is 1200 millimeter square into e young's modulus it is also given in the problem that is 2 into 10 raised power 5 okay so now let me calculate it in the kelsey over here so 35 10 raised power 3 multiplied by 5000 divided by 1200 into 2 into 10 power 5 10 raised power 5 which is equal to 0 0.72 okay so change in length is equal to 0 0.72 millimeter this is your first part of the problem okay it is the 10 marks question in the video examination so three marks for change in length change in bread uh, three marks and change in thickness three marks oh, sorry uh, four marks that will be your 10 marks for this particular problem right so this is your delta l is equal to 0 0.72 millimeter now what we have to calculate change in the uh, depth sorry breadth change in breadth and change in depth okay 
so these things we have to calculate so you already know the formula for the longitudinal strand longitudinal longitudinal strand which is equal to delta l that is change in length upon original length why i am calculating this parameter now just i have calculated uh, delta l in the above step okay so now i can use the longitudinal strand is equal to delta l by l so delta l is 0 0.72 and what is the original length so that is 5000 millimeter okay if i just calculate it i will get the longitudinal strand so 0 0.72 upon 5000 which is equal to 1.44 into 10 is power minus 4 1.44 into 10 raised power minus 4 okay this is your longitudinal strand okay now see the purpose of giving this uh, poisson's ratio okay so poisson's ratio is denoted by 1 upon m it is given by lateral strain lateral strain upon longitudinal strain okay i hope you are aware of these formulas it is in the first semester itself uh, in the physics subject okay so longitudinal strand now 1 by m it is given in the problem poisson's ratio that is 0 0.32 is equal to lateral strain is not given we can calculate it so lateral strain upon longitudinal strain we have calculated in the above step that is 1.44 into 10 days power minus 4 okay so in this uh, case i am getting here lateral strain lateral strain is equal to this 1.44 into 10 raised power minus 4 multiplied by this 0 0.32 okay i kept this lateral strain as it is and cross multiply these two terms that is 0 0.32 into 1.44 uh, into 10 raised power minus 4 okay so now let me calculate it so 1.44 into 10 raised power minus 4 multiplied by sorry point point three two point three two which is equal to 0 0.03 so lateral strain lateral strain is equal to 0 0.033 okay sorry i have made the wrong calculation over here see it was 1.44 i have written 1044 so let me correct it first so it was 1.44 multiplied by 10 raised power minus 4 into 0 0.32 which is equal to 4.608 so 4.608 multiplied by 10 raised power minus 5 this is your lateral strain now the main question was uh, we have we are we were supposed to calculate the change in depth change in thickness okay so delta b we have to calculate you already know the formula for lateral strain see here lateral strain is equal to change in breadth upon original breadth okay or change in depth upon original depth okay first of all we will calculate uh, delta b so lateral strain we calculated here that is 4.608 multiplied by 10 raised power minus 5 is equal to delta b divided by original b what is the original b that is 40 mm 40 mm okay so i can calculate here delta b is equal to this 40 into 4.608 into 10 raised power minus 5 so 4.608 into 10 raised power minus 5 multiplied by 40 mm which is equal to 1. 1.8432 so delta b is equal to 1.8432 into 10 raised power minus 3 so this is your delta b in terms of millimeters okay now second part is over now we have to calculate delta d so i can write here lateral strain is also equal to delta d divided by d so lateral strain we have calculated so 4.608 multiplied by 10 raised power minus 5 is equal to delta d upon original d original d is 30 mm so 30 so you can write here now 30 multiplied by this term you will get delta d so delta d is equal to 30 multiplied by 4.608 into 10 raised power minus 5 so 30 multiplied by 4.608 okay into 10 power minus 5 which is equal to 1.3824 multiplied by 10 raised power minus 3 millimeters this is your delta d so this is all about this particular problem okay as it is the 10 marks problem so by these type of steps by writing these steps you will easily get 10 marks in this particular question okay so your approach should be good your uh, 
thinking should be good in the examination that what is the given data what we have to calculate try to write the uh, given data first and the things which you have to calculate in these type of questions i hope this is clear to you people so make sure you will share this uh, video to all your friends uh, that will be beneficial for them also so thanks for watching the video